food and clean water is not going away. We did not get an update from the city today. They were busy, busy with the vice president, but at last mentioned that boil water advisory, it's still in effect. Meaning the need for fresh drinking water and food is still critical. Your Sydney Hood has been following that issue for us, and we're on your side with the latest areas to find those critical supplies. Sydney's at the old train depot on Riddle Street, by the way, where things have changed dramatically since yesterday. Yeah, Richard, it is a complete 180 out here in the parking lot compared to when I talked to y'all yesterday. We've got cases of water out here. We've got these meal boxes out here, fresh produce, apples, salad bags, avocados even. Ice is right here. That has just arrived out here. A lot of you have been coming up to me asking where can you get ice. Old Train Depot parking lot off of Riddle Street is your answer. Now, I have just been told within the last five minutes they have closed the gate out here, but if you were not able to come out here today, I've been told that they will be out here. The National Guard will be out here doing the exact same thing you are seeing right now. They'll be back out here at 8 o'clock in the morning. I was actually talking with United Way, who was out here earlier, and they tell me that this right here is one of the biggest distribution spots in the city, and I can tell you it has been so busy out here for the last several hours. Some of these National Guardsmen have told me that they've been out here since 11 a.m., and I've been trying to talk to them since I've been out here and I've kind of been working alongside them almost because they have been going nonstop out here and you wouldn't believe just where some of these people traveled from to come down here and help us. The guy that's running the potable water tank out here, he told me he is from Louisiana. The guy that was dropping off some of the ice said that he lives in Florida. So it's kind of cool to hear where all these folks are traveling from to come down here to Augusta to help us out. And I've seen a lot of the folks inside these cars here leaving smiling. I've seen a lot of smiles today. I haven't seen a lot of smiles in the last several days, so that was really a neat sight to see out here. But again, if you did miss this, they are going to be out here. The National Guard Marshal's Office, Augusta Fire EMA, they'll be out here starting at 830 in the morning. I've been told that all of this that you see out here is going to be here. Just remember with that potable water tank, you want to be sure and bring your water jug to fill up on it. This is not the only location where you can get potable jug, potable water. Um, out here. We've got a list of those on our website for you to check out as well. But like I said, this parking lot is really transformed within the last 24 hours. It's not really a parking lot anymore. It's kind of more so like a grocery store. But like I said, some of the folks in these cars, I've been hollering at them, just asking them, you know, how are they doing? What else do they need? And like I said, I've seen a lot of excited and smiling faces out here, which is something I have not seen in quite some time. So, Cindy, just a quick question. Did you mention ice? I don't think we've mentioned ice before. Is that one of those ice locations or no? Ice has literally just been dropped off within the last 30 or so minutes. I actually, whenever I was wow. talking to y'all at 530, the truck just pulled up out here. Good. So, I mean, it's right here beside me. It's here. So, I mean, I'm excited about that because I've been looking for some ice, if I'm being completely honest here. I've had folks come up to me today asking where they can get ice. So, right, it's right here at the Old Train Depot parking lot. Like I said, just arrived within the last 30 or so minutes. They've got a truck full of it, and it is cold in there. Can't confirm that. Amazing. Okay, and we know it's looked like this for the last couple of hours. A lot of people lined up to get that fresh produce. You also mentioned cleaning supplies, so a one-stop shop to get a lot of different items. Yeah. Sydney, thanks so much. But they are getting ready to wrap up, but hopefully we'll be back out tomorrow. That's it. We'll, we'll pick right back up tomorrow morning where they left off today. Sydney Hood, thank you. Now.